Hello, welcome to my channel. So, the last one from the Indigo Library, the Twist and Pop card. And I don't know if this is going to be easy or hard or what, but we're going to work on it. And I'm going to do this on my glass mat, and hopefully it works well. Um, it says that we're going to need two sheets of 8.5 by 11. And then the mats and layers will take one sheet of 8.5 by 11. So I'm going to do these two together. This is the twist and pop mechanism. Just going around with my embossing tool, making sure I'm giving pretty good pressure on it because I'm using the, um, I don't have nothing, nothing soft underneath of it. So I'm going to just score all these lines. Sure, I got that one. that one. Okay, and now this is the inner card. So I'll do the outside. And now I don't care for using the white paper usually it's harder to see it the embossing so you know it's still worth it to me okay now i'm going to get the score lines the rest of these are mats and layers um so i'm just going to hit the score lines um you know if you want to use pencil use pencil this is just the way I prefer to do it. Okay. So, how well can I see it? Pretty good. Okay. And then I need to do... the actual card itself. the base card. <sighs> Maybe it works better if I use the harder just the glass mat without the soft underneath. Yeah, I don't know. making sure I'm on the right lines because the lines for this one and the one for the um, twist and pop inner card are pretty close right there. Okay, and the score line and the other ones are for mats and layers. Okay, now it's time to cut it out. So I gotta find my line. That's the problem with scoring on the white paper. It's, and I say this every time, I think it's best on textured because it breaks down the texture. Um, after that, 
then dark card. Um, probably printed card is the hardest to see them. I've missed the score marks there. And there I did too. So I'm just trying to stay on them as best I can. But you could always take the measurements and cut this with a paper cutter. I don't usually do that because I want to show you the whole process. But if I wasn't, then that's probably what I would do. Take it to the trimmer. Take the measurements, take it to the trimmer, and do it that way. And that's the score line. Okay, and then I got this one with these two. So, now this one I can see a little bit better. I must have pushed a little bit harder. Well, you can see where it dug into the paper. It actually dug into the paper right there. Okay. <clears throat> These are all score lines, but it doesn't say how to fold them. With Valium Mountain Folds as shown on the template. But it doesn't say, it just says score. So, I'm going to assume that these are all going to go the same way. And that's going to be the opposite. Okay. And it looks like there's. So. And then. Fold it down good. And that's your pop. Add adhesive to the front and back. Of the mechanism. As shown. That's the front. One's the front and one's the back. Front and back. Twist and pop inner card now.
I don't know if I'm just getting used to their instructions and stuff. Or if it's just because I've done enough of them now, but it seems like they're getting easier and easier to figure out. Okay. So now we can get rid of all the scraps. And we have these. Okay. Then we got a concertina fold and burnish. So concertina means this way and then this way. Sandwich the twist and pop inner card between the top and bottom sections of the mechanism. So in other words, we're going to go like this. Secure in place. So, I'm going to put glue in the back. And I'm going to stick this here and I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to stick glue here I don't want that glue to Seal up parts I don't want it to though, and I'm kind of messing that up, aren't I? Okay, so I'm just gonna hold it. Then it says to cut your mats and layers for the inside of here and then adhere it. So, this should probably already have been decorated. Ah, uh, that works really good. Let's, let's glue it in. And I'm, I didn't even look at how it was supposed to be glued in. I'm just putting glue on it and doing it because I'm pretty sure this is where the glue needs to be. Okay. So we stick this in the middle. And hold it closed. And this is pretty quick. Of course, I didn't do any mats and layers and stuff. And and it opens. And if the glue is holding all the way, instead of there where it's loose, it opens up better. That turned out pretty good. I'm liking this. Okay, let's fold it back down. Get that real good there. Glued real good. Adhered real well. 
All right, ready? I like it. I do like it. It works very well. And I'm assuming that we can adjust sizes on this thing too. And if we don't want bulk here, we can use a thinner paper on the inside. But I do like the way that opens nice and easy. Yep. So, there we go. I mean, how much easier does it get than that? Um, took 16 minutes. According to the timer on my phone. So, that's nothing. Of course, I didn't do mats and layers. And then, then decorate, but I'm thinking for a base, I mean, that wouldn't be too much to put just there and leave this white back here and add black or, you know, whatever you're going to put. I might come back later and decorate. I'm not sure, but I like that one. I'm very impressed with that one. I like it very much. And I think you could tell that I do. I mean, I just love how easy and probably the more you do it, the easier it would be. And like I said, if I used a thinner paper on the inside, that would have probably been even better. It's just... Yeah, I like it. So, all right, that's it for this video. That was a quick one. All right, if you like my channel, my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Everybody, have a blessed day. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you join me again. Bye-bye now.